Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are still working on getting all of this out over here filled in. We're still limited by our influence generation for sure, but we're making very good progress here. We just need a few more locations to be able to get all of our habitable worlds, all of our currently habitable worlds colonized. So that is wonderful. Hmm, what do the Vengralians want? 500 unity for a bunk bed? Okay, pass. That is fine for now. We do not require it. Any jobs needing to be built? Not currently. However, the ISS Bluefin is idling in a free and that is fully expected. We are not surprised about that at all. We are, however, full on minor artifacts. Not a lot we can do there except sell to private collectors. That'll fill back up very quickly. And then over here in the astral threads, not a lot we can do here right now either. Yeah, we just need to wait on these cooldowns. So that is fine for now. Not the not the best thing in the world, but it'll be okay. What are you doing right now? I'm just watching these guys come through our territory. Okay, these are actually the Griffin Corsairs. Okay, because I was just like, how are they getting through? I'm quite certain we closed borders to the Abusin Principality, and we did. This is not them. This is a mercenary fleet, apparently, passing through here. A lot of Griffin Corsair fleets. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess they're sending reinforcements up over here or something. That seems fine for now. We do need to get this starbase built here. And it looks like we are currently about three months away from getting that. Okay. Well, that is fine, I suppose. So we're done up here in Moscot. We are building energy credits here, and then we're going to head to Radar Central, where the plan is that we're going to build a gateway. So that's fine for now, but it is definitely going to be a bit of an issue in terms of our influence. But it will mean that we're able to put our influence here for the moment. So that is, of course, a good thing. We're currently building a colony ship. That should be for Izak, and that'll be fine. Next month, we will definitely be able to grab this colony. Let's do it as of now. Perfect. We also just set up this colony. Amazing. We do want to put in a gene clinic there, as well as a city district. There we go. New Astral Rift has developed. Complete. That's fine. And we'll just continue working on these... Working on these archaeological digs. New frontiers that looks established. Good. Ooh, a new colony again. That'll be a gene clinic and a city district, of course. Perfect. Any other jobs that need to be dealt with at this point? That is a negative. Okay. I'm not shocked about that. That is not super surprising. Of course, this is a... What type of storm is this? Gravity storm. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, I see what they've got going on here. So if we're not a Gestalt Consciousness, we're going to need more consumer goods. But if we are a Gestalt Consciousness, we'll need more energy credits. That makes sense. That makes sense why that's differentiated. We do need to sell some food here. Complete. We were capped on that. We're going to be capped on our energy credits quite soon. We definitely want to be working on that. And that's understood. We did just finish up in a free rate. So we're going to need to get... Does it matter who actually comes in here? I don't think so. So we'll get these guys in for now. We'll build mining stations here. And then we're going to need to move up to Tiamat once this is done. So that Research seems complete. fine for right now. Okay, dangerous wildlife removal. Sure, that's wonderful. Additional habitability is always good. There's also this rare tech here. Food from jobs and starbase constructions. To be honest, we don't need more food. So I'm going to grab the habitability. That'll be fine. Now, we are going to get battleships here in about six months. We're going to have to design the battleships, and then we'll have to get at least one for each of our fleets building. We'll see what that ends up looking like. But for now, that's probably what that's going to end up being. So that is fine for now. And then once we're done in a free re, of course, we're heading to Tiamat and then to Suter. So we need quite a lot of influence for that. We're going to need like 122, I think, something along those lines. This Astral Rift event is continuing. We found the Daedalus seal, and that's ending that Astral Rift exploration. So that is now fully explored. And what does the Daedalus seal actually do? That should be under 
relics. Dimensional lock duration, astral threads plus one, places a lock on all wormholes and L gates within your borders for five years. That's actually very useful. Not right now, but theoretically, it's very useful. We can sell to private collectors again, might as well. And as far as Astral Threads go, we can gain both of those buffs again. That seems wonderful. And the ISS Clever Clam, of course, needs to do stuff. So there's a, this Shroud Tunnel here. There's a gateway up here. We can certainly head over to this archaeological site and excavate that. That's quite close, so we may as well. So the colony ship here is going to be built eventually. And I want to continue to develop our colonies here. So we've got this quote unquote generator world. Is this actually that? Right, this is a world where we could go either way. We could make this into a generator world or we could make it into a tech world or we could do both. And that's probably what we're going to end up doing. So I'm going to make this for now be a generator world. We're gonna put in an energy grid. But we're also interested in putting in an Astro Meteorology Observatory, an Astral Siphon, and we're also interested in putting in a Storm Relief Center here. So this is going to significantly limit the amount of tech production we're going to get out of this world. That's understood. It was always going to be kind of a weird hybrid world, so that's okay. It's not going to be a truly specialized one. So now the question is, what are we able to put into our battleships? Well, we're not able to put them into quite the form that we want them to be yet. We're lacking a lot, particularly in mass driver and, well, <laughs> kinetic artillery tech. We definitely want to get kinetic artillery, but it's a ways away as of right now. And it's not the biggest of priorities for us because we're not looking to expand beyond these borders. We're looking to take over these borders and build tall a little bit until it feels about right to end the series. Mostly, I, I do want to summon the big one before then, for sure. And we may also do the meteorological crisis. That might be a thing that we do. That probably will be, to be honest. We'll see how that goes. How does becoming the crisis affect your federation? I don't know. That That's going to be interesting. <laughs> That'll Research be very complete. interesting. Okay, we just found the Union of Tinkerers, and they gave us 2,000 alloys. That's neat. And we also unlocked battleships, so that is perfect. So, at this point, we could grab... None of these are amazing. Okay. I'm thinking we grab Habitat Central Complex, Major Orbitals, Minor Orbitals, and Habitat Administration. Just get that out of the way. So that seems okay for now. And then, of course, we're going to need to hop in and design our battleship, the Wave Hunter class battleship. So this is currently using a broadside bow, an artillery core, and an artillery stern. Eventually, we're going to want this to be full artillery, and I'm just going to do that for now. So I'm going to put a pair of gamma lasers here, and then we're going to have quad rail guns back here. Now, these are only level three, and that's definitely not ideal. So this is currently a line combat computer. I want this to be an artillery combat computer. Okay, let's put in our hyper shields and our neutronium armor. And then as far as the rest of this goes, we have 415 available power right now. A shield capacitor is not necessarily the worst idea. In fact, we could do two shield capacitors. And for now, that's what I want to do. So that'll give us Wave Hunter class battleships, and then, of course, we can add in a Wave Hunter class battleship to each of these. But we can only do one, and that's understood. We can also add in a destroyer. There, that'll be fine. And then we probably just want to reinforce these fleets. Oh, the tidal wave no longer has a leader. We should probably recruit somebody. There we go. That'll be fine. Excellent. So at this point, I want to check in here. Yeah, it's going to take some time to build those battleships. That's understood. That is deeply, deeply unsurprising. 
but we do want to expand those. New frontier is established. Okay, so Holobrae Secundus has now been colonized. We definitely want to get in a gene clinic and a city district there. That will be fine. Wankwork Prime requires a capital upgrade, which we can do. Resolution has passed, yep, and we have an archaeological site pending. That seems fine. Nothing else to do in terms of planets for right now. Okay. So the Aeolid 7 is heading back to Radar Central. Once it arrives there, we're interested in building specifically a gateway. Although we maybe should consider building our Arc Furnaces and building our Dyson Swarms. Those don't cost influence. And we actually can't build gateways yet. Interesting. Okay, so in that case, we definitely do want to build the Arc Furnaces and Dyson Swarms. So, we need to find ourselves halfway decent stars to build Dyson Swarms around. Actually, Spica's a good one. So, let's head into Spica here and build a mega structure. We'll build a Dyson Swarm array. That's actually a really good one. I don't know if the alloys are going to be boosted by the Dyson Swarm. Based on my understanding of how this works, it might be, but it shouldn't be, if that makes any sense. So that seems fine for now. Let's get that going. The battleships will, of course, finish eventually. We're not in that big of a rush on them. Okay, Nozoxa Prime is about to finish colonization, so we're going to definitely want to work on this. That'll be done April 1st? Yeah. Okay, we don't really care about that war necessarily. So we're of course going New to want to immediately put in a gene clinic and a city district. There we go. And we're still building in a free re, remarkably. I expect it to be done with this by now, but okay. I guess it's going to take us a little while. That seems fine. So it costs unity to build these projects right now. That's fine. We're also interested in finding additional stars to boost the output of. And we're also interested in finding locations with a lot of worlds. Not, not quite like this one. This is a molten world here, so this would be a place where we could build an arc furnace, but I, I would not make the argument to make an arc furnace Handshake in this system. There's activated. just not enough locations here. Oh, we're negative in energy credits. That's interesting. Our naval cap dropped. Ah, because of the Senate passage. Gotcha. So that's pretty expensive. Good thing we're building our Dyson Swarm Arrays at this point. So we have this industrial world here. It requires housing. Is this actually an industrial world? Yeah, I, I specifically said it as an industrial world. So we're going to put in an industrial district here. That looks good for now. Being this negative in our energy credits is not good long term, but for right now, complete. it's actually kind of okay, because we know for a fact that we can we can maintain this for a long time. We have a good buildup of our energy credits, so I'm really, really not concerned about it. As of right now, it seems fine. So the ISS Bluefin is finally heading over to Tiamat. That looks good. And I'm wondering what path we are taking down this way. Okay. That's not shocking with this storm being right here. It's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. So next up, of course, we are going to build our starbase in Tiamat. So that looks great. Also, this world dropped down to 50% habitability. It wasn't at that previously. Huh. We might have to terraform that one. Arctic world, ocean world. Yeah, we might have to. It's not the end of the world if we do. We can definitely get that going as soon as possible. <laughs> no doubt about that. So we still don't have those battleships up yet. That's noted. We will get them very shortly. Now, keep in mind, we have a lot of trade on the map right now, and we should probably consider actually grabbing that. So I'm thinking we would build a starbase somewhere like... Spica might not be a bad idea. 
So that would grab, hypothetically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out to, like, Nemean. Yeah, let's get started on that. So we're going to upgrade this starport. We're just going to start grabbing this trade. And that will, of course, create potential piracy issues, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. We, the plan ultimately is to bypass piracy using gateways, which we can't actually build yet. So for now, we're just going to probably deal with the piracy, not patrol, but we're going to send our fleets out when piracy spawns, most likely, or just build smartly. Those are the primary options. So that's all fine for now. I would very, very much like to get access to gateway construction. But as of right now, we simply don't have that. So that seems okay. This tech world requires a job. And honestly, I think the answer here is a city district. We can also clear out some of these tile blockers, which is not a bad idea. We might as well get that done. Another archaeological event is pending here. Wonderful. A message in the canopy. So we just created another archaeological site. Construction okay. complete. And there's Tiamat finished as of now. So I want to build the mining and research stations here. Can we can we gather nanites? We can. Let's go gather those and then head down to Suter. Actually, let's do it the other way around. Let's build Suter. And then we'll come back up to Sao and built those research stations. And then the mining and research stations here. I want to get this going as soon as possible because terraformation is going to take some time. So that is fine. Cool. So how are we doing on this Dyson Swarm array down here? Okay, that doesn't look bad. The real question is... Is this going to boost our alloy generation here? It may or may not boost the Founding alloys. UO. It will definitely boost the energy protocols activated. So that looks good. Cool. So we still do need to get a fair number of systems claimed here, but we're getting increasingly close. Actually, we may want to come grab the zero up over here. So we'll do that, and then we'll head back to Suter. Uh, you should, actually shouldn't be building this mining station at this time. I'll let this Founding one finish since hope. we're 90% done, but I want to go grab Suter next. Okay, so now we're going to come build the star base down here. There we go. That'll do for now. We are full on food, so let's sell off some of that. That will help our energy credits be offset a bit. Wonderful. How's this Dyson Swarm Array going? 41% done. Okay. Well, that'll eventually come online. So that seems wonderful for right now. Spaceborne life form encountered. Okay. Magnetic storm aftermath over here. That's quite a long time after. Construction wow. complete. Okay. Well, that seems fine for the moment. We did just finish up construction in the Spica Starbase. Okay. So this is intended to be a trade station. So we need to put in a pair of trade hubs. And then I also want to put in an off-world trading company here. And then we're going to upgrade this to a Starhold. So grabbing this trade is going to help us a lot with our... Yeah, you can see right there, we flipped around to energy, energy credit positive. Okay, so the XT-489 assemblers are preparing to declare war on us. We don't know when they're going to do that. So that is understood. So next, we want to definitely build a spy network up with them. We're going to work on that. Their encryption is very strong relative to our code breaking. We haven't worked on our code breaking, like, at all. And I think that we should probably get our fleets preemptively moving out. So let's move these guys up over here and these guys over to, like, Pennock. And I would love to build some defense platforms here. We don't actually have our defense platforms set up. So let's take a look at what we've got currently. We've got medium station sections as of right now. I actually kind of want this to be a heavy station section. And then a... We could go with a point defense station section or a light station section. 
I kind of wish there was a mixed station section. Which would give us, like, three small and one point defense. That would be ideal. I feel like four point defense is a little overkill. We'll go with light station sections for now. So I want to put a railgun in this large slot here. Although maybe for now we should go with gamma lasers. And then in the small slot, we could go with plasma if we really, really wanted to uh, be weak to shields. That's probably a bad idea. I actually want to go with autocannon for this. So we're going to put four autocannon in here. That seems fine. And instead of this being a heavy station section, I'm actually thinking about downgrading that to a medium station section and putting in a pair of gamma lasers. Like that. Okay. So that looks good for now. I definitely want shield capacitors in here, and we're going to put in some hyper shields. We're also going to put in some neutronium armor. So it'll be something along the lines of that. We'll go ahead and save that. And now I want to immediately queue up a bunch of these. So how many do we want to queue up? I'm going to queue up one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five for now. So that leaves us with 9.7k alloys. Okay. I'm going to do another five in each of these. And that's basically what we can afford right now. Maybe we can afford, like, another two each. Not quite. Okay. Let's buy in. Now that we're positive in energy credits, let's buy in 2,500 alloys. That's very expensive. And that's understood. So this is up to 11, and this is up to 9. Okay, we're going to do something like that. Now... I definitely want to grab unyielding here. So war exhaustion gain minus 25%. Hostile claim influence cost plus 25%. And then eventually we'll grab bulwark of harmony. But that will happen probably during this war. If I had to guess. Okay. So that seems relatively fine for now. So we are going to continue to Handshake work on various things. First of all, this would normally be good. I'm going to decline that for now. And they need to keep in mind, they're not going to be just fighting us. They're also going to be fighting the Zeritan Citizen Alliance, who is also equivalent to us. So I have to wonder, how are they planning to pull this off? I don't really feel like they can effectively do that. I'm going to buy in another 2,500 energy credits, that's, or rather 2,500 alloys. That's going to spend the vast majority of those energy credits that we had stockpiled. But I really do want to be queuing up more of these defense platforms. So I'm going to do two in each of these areas. There we go. And that will help work up our defenses along this border. It's not going to be done, but it will definitely continue to work on it. So next up over here, I would definitely like to go work on this Astral Rift in Escant, which we're going to do. Okay, this archaeological event is pending. Hmm. Do we want to rip the machine apart before it can cause any more harm or let it out? That will release an Eldritch Horror. At neutral hostility. Okay. This would be in the Sarp Sarpocus system. And where is this? Out here. This is not all that relevant to us, is it? Let it out. Excellent. So there's now an Eldritch Horror here Space with 116% health. Construction complete. Amazing. And we are exiting. Finally. Bow down, mortals. Grovel before me, and I shall grant you protection and wisdom. Oppose me, and I shall be your end. Oh, great one. Embrace your your wayward flock. Indeed. So that is going to give us 6% research speed, but minus 10% biological growth speed. We can offset that quite a lot. Yeah, I'm going to take it. 6% research speed is nice. So you have chosen the path of wisdom. Everything is as it should be. Indeed. 
Okay, so he destroyed all of the worlds here. But that seems wonderful. What type of star is this? He is the star, I think. No, it's considered a black hole. Okay. Wonderful. So we found another bit of robot debris. We'll continue to work on that. And the ISS Bluefin is idle down here in Suter. So we need to immediately terraform this. I'm going to terraform it into a tropical world. And I want to grab the energy credits. I want to grab the mining and the research stations here. I want to build a research station here. And then head over to Carnegie, grab that. And I don't think we can grab the living metal. No, we cannot. There is, however, an additional instance of zero up over here. We'll go grab that. Perfect. So we're going to be declared on fairly soon here. I think there's no doubt about that. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will see if we are able to hold them off. We should be able to. These are 19k stations. We have 40k fleets. So we'll continue to boost that up for sure. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Hiro Marutsu, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.